Hi guys, thank you for visiting Simple Cooking with Julia Wright. Before you start cutting your vegetables into equal pieces, make sure your broth is in the process of cooking. Now get your frying pan and pour out some oil into it. Then add nicely chopped garlic and let it cook for a minute. After that we need to add onion and let onion cook for a few minutes until it gets a little bit softer. Only then we add potatoes, squash and carrots. Cook it for 10 minutes and then add broth. Make sure it covers all of the vegetables. Also transfer pieces of meat into a future cream soup and cover your pot or pan. Cook it until all of your vegetables are cooked. Then separate liquids and vegetables and nicely blend the second ones. While my blender is doing its job, I'm gonna heat 200 ml of cream and then we will have to combine blended vegetables with this cream. Mix it until a nice smooth consistency. You may need to add a little bit of broth. I need just one cup, you may need more or less. You might notice that I didn't add any salt and pepper to my cream soup, but my broth that we used for cooking vegetables had all of it. Now cover your pot and simmer it at very low heat for 5 minutes and there we are! If you belong to those people who always get hungry after having dinner or you know such people, I suggest you to check the link down below this video in the description. It's about cream soups and medical experiments that doctors recently made. And if you will decide to make your own experiments, I would be very interested to get know your results, so don't be afraid to leave them in the comments. And I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to do, 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 and subscribe. Bye.